Hi there and welcome to my Larva experience. It's the first time I make this and it's actually the first time I use Fimo, the polymer clay that many people use nowadays. Usually I use Cernit, it's almost the same. Now, the first and the most important thing is to get the shape of the body right and to mix the right colors. I use yellow as the base and then I have two different orange colors and I mix them to get this smooth transaction between yellow and orange. So start by mixing, stack them as a pile, push and roll and push and roll and then cut them into pieces. This way you will get a perfect nice yellow that turns into orange and then back again to yellow. Always use a piece of paper or plastic otherwise the clay might stain your table. You don't actually need many tools. I use a knife and a razor blade and, well, some kind of needle. I will show you that later. I start by stacking them to different orange and yellow small round pieces and then put them together. Roll against your surface, squeeze between your fingers and uh, well the more you roll the better the colors mix together it's always nice to try to do cartoon like figures they are almost built the same way so if you get the hang of it it's not that hard the most time consuming part in larva is actually to mix the colors right and to make the body look like it should. So just be patient, push them together and roll and squeeze between your fingers. Now I have these flat round different colored pieces and I start by putting them together. I start with a little bit of orange, then yellow, orange, yellow, orange and finish up with yellow where the head should be. Take your time in this step. It's important that you push but don't lose the shape of the body. I finish up the body with a piece of orange that I put in the neck. It should not go all the way through to the face. It might look a little bit thick, but when you roll it, it actually sinks into the body and it will be perfect. What I do now is put a little bit more yellow to the face because I need to make the eyebrows and the mouth. I also use this rubber tip brush. It's perfect for making holes and small details on your body. Now I make the mouth. You can also use your fingers and your nails to squeeze a little bit to get the perfect mouth. I roll a small piece of yellow to make the eyebrows. And just squeeze gently and you can also use your tools to get it to stick better.
Take your time to get the facial expressions. It's important. Cut two small pieces of orange to make the lips. You can put them there by using your fingers or with a tool. Remember to follow the instructions on the package. How to bake your polymer clay. I actually like this clay. It's a little bit softer than Cernit that I'm used to, but this is really good to work with too. Uh, one other thing that you should always remember, keep your hands clean, otherwise you will get lots of lint and different colors in, mixed with your clay. Dust and a dirty surface might also ruin your work. I always try to make uh, the lighter colors first and then go to darker ones because otherwise I might just stain it with the darker. Now I try to make the face even better and it's time to make the nose. I cut two small pieces of black, tiny tiny round pieces and then I use my needle to stick them into the right place to make the nostrils. Just stick two small holes and put the small black dots in there. So now we have the lips, the nose and the eyebrows. Let's make the eyes. Same thing, cut two pieces, roll them and place them right underneath the eyebrows. And again, I use my tool to make the expression. I push a little bit right between the eyes. The eyes are almost done. You only need two small black dots to place right in the middle of the white. I have this small metal thread that I push right into the clay and I cover it with a little bit of yellow. This is going to be the antenna. I finish it with a small orange ball on top. Now the only thing we have left is a thumb and two front teeth. I prepare the mouth and I put a small orange tongue in. There you go. And the only thing we have now is two front teeth. So I roll and cut a little bit of white, cut it and shape it to two front teeth. And with my tool, I just put them right on the upper lip. I consider this larva done. Good luck if you make your own and I hope you enjoyed my video.